During your visit to Orlando, Disney is such a huge park that you'll probably end up spending more than one day here. I'm spending an extra day at Epcot. It stands for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow, basically a futuristic theme park with the flavor of a World's Fair. It covers about 300 acres, so be sure to wear some comfortable walking shoes. It's very relaxing, there's no sharp corners, it's very, it flows, the whole park flows around. And I, I like how we walk around waterfalls. Oh, cool. Yeah, those are very beautiful. The atmosphere is a whole lot of people getting ready to spend a happy day <laughs> doing a lot of interesting things. And one of those interesting things is Test Track, an exhibit that lets you explore the rigors of automobile testing. Are we Test Track dummies? Is that what we're supposed to be? I think so. Yeah. I hope we don't crash into anything. <laughs> I hope we don't either. Where they put you through their simulated rough road conditions, their freezing conditions, their heat conditions. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Hi. They're, they're demonstrating extreme. And the last test is the barrier test. And then we really get the let out as we take a corner at 65 miles an hour. Well, you're in a convertible, so your, your hairdo does not last. <laughs> One of the yeah. better rides here in Epcot. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. We love it. Yeah! Test Track is part of an area within Epcot known as Future World. The idea is that Future World is never finished, but always testing new technologies. Whoa! That's totally righteous! <laughs> Over at the seas with Nemo and friends, you can experience the cutting edge in animation. <laughs> if you don't feel silly talking to turtles, you can interact with him in real time. He's animated, but he can see what you're doing. How many fingers am I holding up? Four. Oh! How many fingers am I holding up now? Four fingers and a thumb. <laughs> How do they do it? They'll never tell. It's all part of the Disney magic. No detail is overlooked. When you're at Disney, you're enveloped in fantasy. And the staff here is not called staff. They're called? They're called cast members. It's all about the show. One thing I think is fun is the cast members all have their hometowns written on their name tags. They're really well trained to answer questions, help you out. They do really take care of you. Where's the China Pavilion? It's about half a mile that way. Oh, cool. Thanks. Welcome. The China Pavilion is part of Epcot's famous World Showcase, featuring 11 different countries around one lagoon. Each pavilion is staffed with cast members from their native countries, like these Chinese acrobats practicing an ancient form of Kung Fu. But if you'll notice, there's no combat going on. What does Kung Fu mean? It's a, a Chinese traditional art. The martial art is a show, it's a show the strength, the balance, the contortions, mm -hmm. but the acrobats more shows them in a artful way. When you visit each pavilion, you'll get a 360 degree view of the landscape to help you really immerse yourself. Uh, we love the uh, China, China exhibit. Yeah. Uh, yes. Felt like I've uh, been there. The path through the various countries is just a mile long, so in no time you can hop and skip and jump your way across the globe. Go Canada! Go Canada! Yes. Are you guys Canadian? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And here we are in jolly old England. Come on, mate. <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, so England. 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 We were actually in Italy and said, wow, we feel like we're in Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Very authentic. So what's Morocco like? We've got the baklava for dessert. Uh, oh, good. How is it? It's wonderful. You want to take a bite? <laughs> no, I'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> we love traveling, and so coming here, we can go everywhere, and it's really fun.